Roleplay Retcon does not own any part of the movies we retcon, nor are we associated with the artists who make them. Also, we might not be super kid-friendly, but we're not going to curdle your milk or anything. <laughs> the music in this episode is by Pete Mitchell. Find his music and art at daspedy.com. That's D-A-S-P-E-T-E-Y dot com. Far across an ocean, I can only hold a tree. Of you and me together, when I lay me down to sleep. And I know the feeling that I get when I am finally next to you. Welcome to Roleplay Retcon, the podcast that remakes the movies that let you down with roleplaying and storytelling games. I'm Benjamin Gray. My co-hosts are Gen C and Alex, and our guest for this session is Pete Mitchell of No More Kings. Hi, Pete. Hello. Hey, Pete. Hello, Hello, Hello Pete. Pete. <laughs> if, you've, if you've never uh, listened to uh, Pete Mitchell's music or No More Kings, that's a problem, and you should fix it. <laughs> Yeah, Pete Mitchell is probably the reason why Cobra Kai exists. Not the not the dojo, the TV show. Maybe the dojo. I don't know. <laughs> Where were you in nineteen? Yeah, right. I was. Jeez, I lived in California there when I was a kid, and then because my dad was in the military, and then I moved to Rhode Island. So no, I was probably in Rhode Island. I was like seven. Well, I'm a really big fan of Pete Mitchell, and I'm pretty sure the other two are. I guess probably. Oh, you know, Bobby, I got you into his music. Psst, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a fight, a fight. Technically, my wife, who is a big fan also, uh, got me into it about two years ago. And yeah, we, I just like, I have like 30 year songs hearted on my Spotify list. It, it's nothing. You g- got the song into uh, the Borderlands game, right? Critical hit. Dude, that was crazy. Because I love that. I love that franchise. That's happened to me a couple times where like, I've been a fan of something and then they've reached out and like wanted to use my, like, the, you ever see the show Psych? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's like one of my favorite shows. They used they used uh, one of my songs in their like final episode. Heck yeah! Which one? Uh, they're coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> that's oh, a good song. song. Love that song. I love so that one. Much. Thank you. Um, yeah, they used it in their Nightmare on Straight State Street episode, and it, I was just like, I oh, I love this show. And you, yeah. Anyway, it's crazy. Aww, so yeah, every awesome. time that happened, <laughs> I know. Is that crazy? I love it. Pete's gonna help us remake the 1995 movie Empire Records, which was like a huge flop at the box office, and I think has around like 30 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. And it deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say, but why? <laughs> yeah, just what surface level impressions of this movie. We'll try not to get too too down and dirty with it, but like, yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's not great. No. no. <laughs> what were you what were you saying before we started recording Pete about it like like where no, nothing happens nothing happens in yeah, the movie Yeah it's a it's a movie where nothing happens but like they they tried to stick the landing at the end and thought like this is what we meant all along but like we we knew we we're savvy we we're like no no it was trying to be like reality bites meets like high fidelity meets you know what i mean like it was trying to do that stuff obviously before that before those but just didn't didn't do any of those things. I think this is one of those movies that's like kind of a cult hit, but I think the cult is like really small. <laughs> this is not yeah. this is not like the live action Mario Brothers who, movie. Who are those characters for though? I was trying to connect with any of those characters, and I was like, who are these characters supposed to connect with? You usually don't have to watch the movies, uh, audience. You, I'm talking to you, listening to this right now, consuming this podcast. You usually don't have to watch the movies, and I think that's maybe still true, but I think. Please don't tell them to watch this movie, Ben. Don't tell them to watch this movie, Ben. <laughs> this might be one of those cases where it's better that they don't and then just pretend this is the version. This is the real maybe, version. Maybe. But the thing is, we're in kind of a unique position here because usually when we play we play storytelling games, we play role-playing games to try to fix these movies or make them better. And I think we usually do a pretty good job. Um, and we usually kind of have to like hack the game to make it work for us. But this game we're playing today, which is uh, Damn the Man, Save the Music by Hannah Schaefer, um, is specifically based on Empire Records. Uh, it uses the act structure, uh, the basic plot structure, the character sheets are kind of based on the characters. I don't think it ever actually names Empire Records 
in the book, but like it's very obviously supposed to be that. So this person went out and like made this game to improve on a bad movie. So like obviously we have to play this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to be the facilitator, which is sort of like the dad of the game. I'm your I'm your game dad. Hi everyone. Hi hi, hi game, game dad. dad. Hi dad. Where's my allowance? And everyone else is about to make their characters. So you are all going to be people who work at Empire Records. Empire Records was once a fixture in a Delaware town that might as well not have a name. It's still there, technically, but it barely hangs on. Gentrification is consuming the neighborhood around it, and with it came the Community Betterment Council that files a police report every time they hear one note too loud. It makes most of its operating capital on one day a year, the day when they get some former big shot whose stardom is burning dim, but not so dim that they can't get feet in the door. If they sell enough on this one day, the store can stay afloat another year. Our house in the middle of our street. Our house in the middle of our... Our house, it has a crowd. There's always something happening and it's usually quite loud. Our mom, she's so house proud. Nothing ever slows her down and a mess is not allowed. Our house in the middle of our street. Our house in the middle of our... So we also have like a musical guest, and I haven't figured that out yet. Um, can I just be both? Sure. Yeah, I, I was like, "What can can he? Uh, can he?" <laughs> well, I am. He's a so musical he's guest. He's right I, I here, Ben. <laughs> he can be Ooh. both. If we say Pete, pretty please, <laughs> pretty, pretty was, please, Pete. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Pretty please, Pete. I'll hit him with the three P's. One thing they they try to get you to do is they're they kind of this book says not everyone knows everything about 90s music and so like it's okay to make up fake bands <laughs> i love that <laughs> but we're a pretty musical group i'd say so you could do it either way i if you want to make up somebody that's great if you're like we could just form a band we could just right be now, a band the like us. the four of yeah. us we'll just be a band yes. we'll be called the lost cats yeah you just read that off that's, that's kind of how the, <laughs> the movie ends too so we could just do that nice. i don't know what you're looking at i see it right now so, but this is a very musical game, and sometimes you're going to say, like, a, you might might feel like a song is playing or something. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the big day. This is 10 a.m. on the big day. You know that there is this uh, big wig corporation that's been sniffing around. Empire Records is, gonna, is trying to make them into a chain store. Um, I think we have to keep the name Empire Records just for that, like, good, good SEO. But what is what is the name of the big corporation? Yeah, let's let's come up with the so name. So it's of, not Music Town. I mean, like Music Town is like a, a bad name. <laughs> it's very, it's very bad. <laughs> Which I guess was the point, but uh, we could we could do something else. Conway's Twitties. <laughs> Conway's. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That sounds dirty. It does sound dirty. <laughs> That's Alex's superpower. Is it like owned by Conway Twitties Estate? 100 percent okay i love this that's can it, it. Can, that's it can it be like conway twitties diddy city or something yeah that's good too yeah oh, okay Just throw, throw it in there okay we'll call it Con conway twitties diddy city it's like that that's like that horrible kid rock restaurant in tennessee yeah except like conway twitty was kind of cool and i don't care for making him the villain but okay <laughs> <laughs> i mean he died a but hero he's not the villain that's true that's true he it's his yeah. it's his estate that's it's a shell corp using using his corpses <laughs> yeah oh. i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry a shell corpse yeah <laughs> jesus this is already getting weird <laughs> and you guys are gonna pick a character you think sounds good so there's a few of these you can either be the aspiring poet perhaps too naive for their own good helps others feel beautiful and finds hidden poetry in their work the brain Two in their own head to freak out, even when everyone else does. Loves geeking out over a common interest and makes simple tasks overly complicated. The flirt. Close with everyone, but how do they really feel? Views others as boxes to unlock and says a thing everyone else is afraid to. Oh, no. The, <laughs> the local rock star. Too cool for school. At their best when putting someone else in the spotlight and can make anything seem intentional. The overachiever. 
It's a mystery how the overachiever gets it all done, has trouble trusting other people's abilities, and always taking on way too many things at once. The space case often grapples with simple concepts, always trying to bring people into their worldview, occasionally and suddenly decides to seize the moment. The troubled artist, always looking for people who get it, connects with people through art, and cuts through the bullshit to the truth. Can I be the space case? You absolutely can be the space 100%. case. 100%. As our guest, you may choose first, yes. So. <laughs> I am feeling the aspiring poet. Oh, man. I could just... I should just pick the the brain and just play me. Uh huh. Just be a little geek, a little weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna be the brain. Okay. So what you're gonna do is everyone's gonna come up with a name, an age. Um, figure out how long you've been employed there. Uh, you're also gonna come up with like what your dressing style is. Like, what's your what's your style? What do you look like? How are you dressing? Um, and your tunes. What what your person's favorite like music is. It also has just like. Three columns of names if no one can come up with anything. Oh, jeez. One of them is Cheddar. <laughs> Cheddar! <laughs> Cheddar! <It's> a dog's name. <laughs> That's a great dog's name. I My guy's going to be like 30, but but he acts, you know, he acts 16. Well, also, like, choose your goal, too. So what is that, my goal? Yeah, okay, just which one of those six... Just pick one of those? One of those six things sounds good. So what you're going to do is each... In each scene, you're going to be given a task by someone. Probably the boss... Maybe someone else. Um, and that task is kind of like what's keeping the store afloat and staving off us getting trouble, um, which makes uh, the more trouble we have, the harder it will be for you to succeed at things. Um, you will also, however, have a personal goal. And this game is kind of like you're deciding like what your own personal win condition is. Like, are you wanting to do your own goal? Do you want to save the store? Do you want to mend your relationships with the other characters? Um, you'll kind of like decide which thing you want to do. So this relationships thing, too, is you're going to have a relationship with each of the other two characters. And you'll keep that we cool box unchecked. So in it, when you have a scene during one of the acts, you'll choose to either double down which means you're going to put all your focus on doing the task you've been given. And you'll basically get to roll like with advantage. I don't know. Do you have dice near you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like, I kind of figured I wrote a song called, again, like I said that I was like, he did write a D and D song. <laughs> um, do you I'm have, surrounded by do you dice. Have, uh, so uh, get a, grab a couple of D sixes. Um, so basically you'll get to like roll bonus dice with that, or you can, um, you can take a moment and taking a moment uh, means that, like, you get to, like, spend some time on one of those relationships. And you, your relationship is strained right now in some way, and you're going to, like, mend that relationship. That's when you get to check that We Cool box. And if that We Cool box is checked and you fail at something, they can roll a dice to help you. You can get your friends to come help you. Um, and then the goal, the other thing you could do is you can try to work on your goal, which is you'll still get to try to do the task, but it'll be hard. And if you fail your roll on the goal, you get to check one of these two boxes. I determined or I have a plan, whichever one feels right in, in the role playing. Um, and that'll help you later. You'll get a bonus die for each of those boxes you have checked. So the more you work on these things, the, the better it'll go. And then we're also going to have some trouble. Um, so no. em yeah, Empire Records can be closed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Like, oh no. Uh. <laughs> what, what? Oh, damn. <laughs> Empire <laughs> Records, my favorite place. No. <laughs> so there's four kinds of trouble. There's trouble from the community, there's money trouble, there's morale trouble, and there's trouble with the boss, which we'll make in a second. Um, and one of those is going to start at level three, which is like kind of a serious thing. It can go up to five. If, if, if we end the game on five on any of the troubles, the store is kaput in some way. It either burns down <laughs> or, or goes under... In some way. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that card now. Uh, and we, oh, we, I got a clubs. So community. The community is the thing that's uh, going to be a problem. Whoa. So that starts off at a three. Yeah. Everything else is a one. Yeah, everything else is one. But at the end of acts, and, and if you fail something, I draw another card. And it'll bump up the trouble. Ones are not a problem. They are on the distant horizon. You don't have to have a plan for that. Are we setting this in 95? Yeah, why not? <laughs> ah, nice. That was a good year. I remembered well. But you guys are all, all babies, right? Uh, babies is a relative term. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're old enough. 
We were children when this movie came out, though. <laughs> yeah. And it also means that, like, my 90s music knowledge is, like, kind of a weird gap. So my favorite 90s band, obviously, is Tool. Nice. But I think that my character's favorite is different. I don't, I don't think my character's a Tool fan. Uh, the book says it gives you some, like, uh, it doesn't have to be a band. It could just be a genre, too. Uh, so it, it's got some... Uh, it's got some suggestions. It's got uh, neo soul and G funk, grunge, Brit pop, post industrial, new metal, trip hop, sincere women with guitars. That's the one. That's yeah. the one. You like you like indigo oh, girls that. and uh, Alanis yeah. Morissette. Alanis Morissette. Alanis Morissette. <laughs> Fiona Apple. Mm-hmm. Okay, I love this. All right, but Jinsey as a person doesn't know much about sincere women with guitars. That's okay. You get to make it up. Okay, cool. All right, so starting with Pete, tell me your employees' uh, name, age, the time they're employed, and their dress and their tunes, uh, and their goal kind of all in one go. I'm Stu. I'm 30. Uh, I've been here for like five years, I think. I love grunge, and um, cause it's like the only kind of music there is, you know? And my favorite is Pearl Jam and Nirvana. What's your goal, Stu? I gotta tell you that. I can't keep that secret. Well... Yeah, yeah, well, it does. There's no reason. I'm gonna find the cat. <laughs> Son of a ah! bitch! You, you guys wanted to find the cat too? That's my yeah. goal too! I'll change mine. I'll no, change no, no, mine. No, no, I can no, find no. another one. Can we have the same goal? Can we all just find the cat? <laughs> you can. There is no rule against that. Let's all find the cat. It might be podcast poison, it's a cha- but we'll it's see. A, it's a race. Whoever the first one to get the cat. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, guys, I'm pretty good at finding cats. Oh, no. You better be. I keep tuning it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a lost cat. I'm assuming it's the store's cat. We'll see. That that store is named after, right? Yeah, it's no. This wait, no. Who is the lost cat? The band. Oh, that's our band. band. <laughs> <laughs> now that now that makes way more sense that we would name our band that if we all have that goal. Mm. Okay, uh, Alex. Hello, my name is uh, Derek Malone, but I go by my uh, Star Wars name, which is Dash Star Killer. <laughs> I, I am the... I am sixteen years old. I have been employed with the store uh, about four hours now. <laughs> <laughs> I dress in ripped jeans, a graphic tee, and a sweet vest. I also listen to the classics like Rush. Uh, hi, my name is Rose. I'm 21. Uh, I've been here for like six months now. Um, I really like to wear uh, black overalls and over like, you know, like white lacy tops with with Doc Martens. I feel like it really expresses my style. Um, I really am into sincere women with guitars. Uh, especially Alanis Morissette. I really love her music. Does she make you happy? <laughs> she, well, I really feel like it's just pure poetry. It just comes right out of her, and it goes right into my heart. And my goal is to find the lost cat. I left for home with the island behind me then And when I stepped out on that runway Betrayed by all that time It felt so different on the other side Breaking wide open I keep hoping I'll get it right mm, This time On and on Let's talk about some relationships. We're not just looking for like siblings. Siblings is a good start, but you sure you want to. It's like improv, right? You want yeah. like the, the the real relationship. Yeah. So I'll say like yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You, what you really want is like maybe like a general thing, and then like an extra detail. Like th- this is like, are you twins who complete each other's sentences? 
Or like a pesky younger sister who follows her older brother to work and is basically an honorary employee. Obviously, it doesn't describe anyone here, but that kind of thing is what we're looking for. Mm, more of Are we imbalance. picking this or rolling this? No, you will. You will decide it. Uh, I can. I can like uh, ask some questions to get the juices mm-hmm. flowing, but this is entirely up to you. I want to take uh, Dash under my wing. I want to be like, like father, not father figure, but like you be know. my Jedi master. Yeah, I want to be his. Pad- I want to. He's my Padawan. I'll be his. I master. am your Padawan servant. <laughs> That's cute. I will learn the ways of the Jedi from you. Under the watchful eye of the Empire. (laughs) Records. (laughs) Ah, Nice. (laughs) Alex is also like, you guys don't know how much like, like, gymnastics Alex is doing in his head. He's like, I have to make sure I don't reference anything that came after 95. It's so hard. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Like, they didn't have Padawans yet. (laughs) Like, this is pre-prequels. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm going to pretend to mess it up with Star Trek just because that fits no! my guy. I like that. Anyone else got any ideas? How would I view Rose when I think of her as like a like a little sister? Yeah, I think that's good. Because how long did you say your character's been there? I forgot like, already. Like six, six months? months. Oh, okay. So you're fairly new. Yeah, so I'm just like the permanent fixture in the store mm-hmm. compared to these mm-hmm. New- mm-hmm. newbies. Pete, what was your character's name again? Uh, Stu. Stu. He doesn't have a last name. Stews. <laughs> he's going to tell you. Padawan. Right? He, he never knew it or doesn't remember it. Thanks. Rose is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am the Rex Manning, after all. <laughs> Darn it. Dang it. Wait, how do you spell stew? S T. Uh, S T U, yeah. That's that's what I pick. But is it better if it's S T E W, like the food? <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it's definitely that now. You guys want me to read some of the questions they got? Some of the juice questions. E W. Uh, yeah. So some of the one the suggestion they have is why do you love to hate this person? Why did this? What did this person do to break your heart? Oh my god. Whom do you admire so much it makes you shy around them? When did you have a falling out, and what was it about? Who acts like the manager, even though they have no authority? Ugh, ugh, ugh. That, uh, like, I had a, like, <laughs> visceral reaction to that. <laughs> Whom do you think is totally hot, but you'd never admit it? Who stole something, and what did they steal? Wait, so Jesse, she- how old was your character? 21. I'm wondering if, like, I had a crush on your older sister or something, and she wronged me, and so now I'm kind of, like, I feel weird about it. Cold to you. Yeah, Aww. you know? Yeah. Uh, not cold, but just, like, a... A little like, I don't know. That's too weird. Maybe that's too weird. <laughs> no, I, I think that's good. Maybe we can do it like, um, you don't have to have a backstory. Maybe one of you, like, what is your like first impression of this person? Right. Well, that's the thing with Dash, because he's like yeah. brand, brand new. We None of us have a relationship with him yet, right? He's, yeah. Well, now you still could. You don't have oh, maybe sure. a working relationship, but maybe you know oh, this good guy. Point. Good point. Oh, yeah, maybe like... I helped him get a job here or I like that. Something. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Like you you were definitely probably a senior when I was in like a like a freshman or something. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Stu, what's our relationship like? I mean, it's more fun if it's like not too contentious, right? I think it'd yeah. be more fun if we're like same team. So yeah. maybe I want to scrap that other idea. But remember, it does have to start as uncool. It doesn't have to be super duper contentious, but there has to be some reason there's tension. But the, the we cool is not it's been not checked, so yeah, you're right. Oh, so what if maybe like you were best friends with my older brother, but then he like grew up and like joined the corporate world and like went away? I love that. I love that. Yeah. And you remember me from just like always being around, mm-hmm. so I'm kind of like an older brother to you too. But mm-hmm. you you feel weird maybe that like you saw it happen. You know, you yeah. watched that all happen. And like. Like, I kind of feel bad for you and, like, yeah, yeah. like, me and you, we can't just, like, hang out because that's weird, right? Right, right. <laughs> but now you're, like, friendless. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> exactly. I only said. <laughs> I, I don't need just... him, dude. I don't need him. <laughs> I'm a solo artist. <laughs> solo artist. All right. So I've got, how, how's this? I'm in Stu's shadow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm nervous around Rose. I like it. Aww. I like that. I like it. Why are you nervous around Rose? Be a little more Because specific. I think she's pretty. Okay, good. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so no, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create two other uh, characters collaboratively. We have the boss, 
the person who manages the store, uh, and the big shot, who is the Rex Manning, the recording artist that's going to come in today, and we got to make him comfortable. Okay, so the boss, what does everyone call them? Gregory Steinway. <laughs> we all call him by his full name, Gregory Steinway. Yeah. Is he? Is, I love that. Is he the uh, like the heir to the Steinway piano? No, his company? actual name is 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 Book Downfall. Book Downfall. What? I meant I meant Brook, but I said Book because <laughs> my name brain is, is broken. Uh, his name is definitely going to be Book. Uh, someone else other than Alex now gets to answer. What's their management style? Uh, hands off. Yeah, mm. laissez faire. Mm. How do they dress? Jinko jeans. Absolutely. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, those are um. How, how do we describe Jinko jeans? They're, They're fat real jeans. Big. Oh, just like really baggy. Boy, that, they're, like really, they're really, really baggy. Big. It really like, isn't like here. Like, I gotta find a picture. Give <laughs> me a second. Like, no, they're real take, big. I don't <laughs> take take like <laughs> take that. like bell bottoms and then like jack that slider all the way to the right. They're bell bottoms the whole way down. Yeah. Yes. Here we go. I'm going to uh, I'm going to yep. I'm going to share my screen big, again so big you can see what Jinko jeans look like. I can't wait. I'm actually like very excited for you to oh just my God. absorb. Y'all, I love Jinko jeans unironically. <laughs> Anyway, this is this is what Jinko jeans look like. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh gosh! These were a, okay. These were a big deal in the nineties for sure. Um, <laughs> like it goes wow. beyond baggy. <laughs> it, look, it looks like a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like someone gotta, had fun in like the video game character maker, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. It's got to be Jinko jeans, suspenders, and no shirt. <laughs> He's got to wear a shirt. He's got to wear maybe a, a shirt. Mesh, maybe a mesh hey, shirt. One of those like black oh. mesh shirts. Yeah. Nice. You can still see his nipples and it's there really awesome. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm not going to yes. write that down, but we all know. <laughs> okay. We've we got them in our head. They know it in our say, like, What do they really like below the surface? Um, I think they like... Anxious? Yeah. Yeah. They, they act like they're hands off and they're cool, but they really like... They really care that all of you like him. Yeah, he's got a little bit of an imposter syndrome vibe. He's gotta be a, he's gotta be the cool boss. He needs to be your friend. Uh this character is also gonna be like forty. Like this character is gonna be like I gotta I gotta be hip with the kids. He's gonna like try way right. too hard. Yeah. Right. Hence the Jinko jeans. This is just fucking Michael Scott with Jinko jeans. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm picturing now. This is prison Mike. Uh and now the big shot. The big shot. The first question they ask is uh their book asks is what went wrong in their career oh wow a scandal yeah yeah oh, right a scandal but only but one that like wouldn't make everyone hate them it, yeah like it's or some people wouldn't believe yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. like a, like a writing dispute like they stole they stole he stole somebody's music yeah is that, is that what you mean Sanji? yeah yeah is this is right. this like a is this like a like a huey lewis and ray parker jr thing oh yeah I want a new drug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like Ghostbusters. Well, they story. literally said, "Right, ghost. Right, I want a new drug, but make it about ghosts." <laughs> 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 no, seriously, that was like the director. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that terrible? It's like. That ugh. is terrible. Anyway, yeah, no, yeah, maybe it's that. It's that. It's like long-standing public feud, but nobody. Yeah. It, the case got like dropped or something, but it was it was long enough where people are like, kind of seems like. Well, maybe also, the did. audience doesn't care about that stuff. They don't care about like yeah. who wrote what. Yeah. So it only affected like the industry. But nobody will touch him now because yeah. of it. Except for record stores who need a celebrity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's their stage name? Uh, we have a lot of he's. I know, I was just thinking that. Should it be, yeah. Denise Leary. <laughs> That's just Denise Leary. <laughs> okay. It would, it would. <laughs> like, you have to be fast or Alex Alex will beat you to the name of character no, punch every time. Yeah. I'm going to, Denise Leary is actually really funny. If we're going to get, like, Book <laughs> and Denise Leary, I'm going to let him. Yeah. Yeah. Denise yeah. He's, he's, he's well, what, is Denise, what does Denise Leary look like? Like Dennis Leary with long hair. <laughs> yeah. But is she, is she just like a Pat Benatar style, like, mm -hmm. like rocker, you know? Joan Jett. Not like a drag queen or anything. Like, it, it's just it's just one of those things where you look at her and you're like, do you know who she looks like? <laughs> Can this actually be Dennis Leary's sister that we yeah, don't yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary's rock and roll sister. Looks a Denise lot Leary. like Dennis Leary. Okay. I hate it so much. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. where do I sit? She loves firefighters. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is not a glamorous woman, is what we're saying. Not. Not anymore, for sure. What does Denise Leary want out of this day? Hmm. Drugs? No. Yeah, I was about to say heroin. Yeah, maybe she's just looking to score. Oh, boy, that's one thing we need to talk about. I didn't do it because I'm bad. Let's stop right here. So this this is the thing that should exist at all gaming tables, but this book kind of makes a big deal out of it. If you are ever uncomfortable with anything, you can say veto, and, and everyone gets rid of it. Um, and I kind of wanted to say, I meant to do this beforehand, but is there anything moving forward that people are like, off the table, we're not even going to mention it. Uh, my one thing is always, I'm pretty like not okay with like violence against kids. Um, even uh, e- yeah. even like I don't think that's going to happen. E- even even like jokes about it. Like I, I know I know it seems like it's not going to happen, but like people get into like South Park stuff, you know, and like so just I don't like. No, that's good to it, keep in it, mind. It makes me really uncomfortable. And now when I say like some slapstick is okay, that's right. fine. So so we should take care of Dash. What are you talking about, lady? I'm a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a grown man. Oh, no. <laughs> but I'm actually okay with drugs, is what I'm saying. Like, this game... Right. The, the, the in reason, this context. Right. The, yeah. the reason they... The, re- <laughs> the, reason they, the reason they bring that up is because the game can get kind of real about some of that kind of stuff. Sure. So, like, kind of... Unless it's a problem with... Like, like the game is like, unless it's a problem with some of the table, stuff like drugs should not be off, off the table. Right. Um, so, I'm actually pretty okay with this person, like trying to like score some meth or something I think that man. makes it funny if she's not she doesn't even care that she's there she's just like I'm, is anyone holding I would, yes see, anyone see this is, this is something I was thinking of today was I'm thinking was about that episode of New Girl I don't know who all has seen that show but there's an episode of New Girl where like uh, Zoe Deschanel's character reveals that she's just been hiding a bag of crystal meth in the apartment because oh, she God. find it in, in uh, something she bought from a second hand store and didn't know what to do with it <laughs> And so, like, that's funny. Like, if we do that that vibe, like, yeah, this person is like, man, I just need, like, a little bit of meth. Can it not be meth? Let's let's not do meth. Okay. What what, what should it be, then? What's a a more palatable substance? I mean, I guess Coke. We're right in the middle of the 90s, right? Can we just make up one? Like, make up a fake drug? I like that better. Yeah, I like that better. What's the funniest name for, like, a fake drug that we can do? My Uh, go-to is always pixie dust. Yeah, she just wants some pixie dust. Mm. And like no one is gonna know what she's talking about, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Okay, pixie dust. She's like, no one in this town has pixie dust. Uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're like some clamor drug, right? <laughs> she's talking about nu- NutraSweet. I don't know what she wants. Man, no. <laughs> mean, can like, the, the drug be called NutraSweet, please? <laughs> okay, maybe it's NutraSweet. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can get her some spice from Kethel. <laughs> Twelve parsecs. So we got our first trouble. It was community. So what is that? What does a community trouble look like? Related to the store? Yeah, yeah. Specifically? Yeah. Okay. Not related to the visit necessarily. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's just this is a, a town that just wants quiet. We, for some reason it got gentrified, like you said, and now it's, yeah, and they're like, you guys are too noisy. So like, it, it, do we want to make that like count, like there's actually like this HOA style um, like organization that keeps like, Bringing them up at city council meetings and right. filing police reports. The uh, I, I I had a name for them earlier, but it was just the one in the book. Is there like a name for this organization that's like? What was the one? Oh my god! What was the one in that Detroit Rock City movie with the moms against something? Kiss. Yeah, they were against Kiss specifically, but <laughs> wasn't it something else too? Oh, it was. It was just mothers against the music of Kiss, Mamk. Oh, I know. We should call it like gentlemen and ladies against grunge, and so that so that so that we can say glag. <laughs> glag. glag. I just think glag sounds I love funny. It. Glag. That's yeah. good. That's good. Also, like unnecessary gendering. <laughs> like that seems like a thing these busy buddies. That's would funny. Do. Yeah, that old. Yeah, I like it. Uh, three is a serious problem. So they are causing us a lot of trouble. There have been times in my life When I've been wondering why Still somehow I believed We'd always survive Now I'm not so sure You keep saying You need one good reason to try 
Lord, what more can I say? What's left to provide? You think that maybe it's over, but not if you don't want it to be. Hey. hey. It's Ben. Got just a little housekeeping to do, but it won't take me long. Um, first, I want to thank Pete Mitchell for joining us and letting us use his music as a soundtrack for these episodes. Uh, the music in these episodes is his solo stuff. And our next series, The Adventures of Pluto Nash, will feature music by No More Kings, the rock band that Pete is in with Neil Robbins. I love that music. Alex got me into it. Uh, I kind of joked around in this episode, but Alex really did introduce me to it. I'm pretty sure his wife, Jeanette, introduced it to him. So thank you, Jeanette. Pete also does art, and he's got a really cool and fun style, and you can buy some of that at his website, daspedy.com. Maybe daspedy, but it's D-A-S-P-E-T-E-Y. He just came out with a Go Fish game where he drew funny and cute fish on all the cards, and you can pre-order that on his Etsy store or go to dospd.com and buy the original artwork he made for it. I will put links to all that in the episode description for this episode. As always, there's the Roleplay Retcon Discord and Patreon for you. Patreon has bonus content and the Discord has bonus people. This episode was edited by me, Benjamin Gray, and Roleplay Retcon is produced by Two Fish in a Jug and is part of the Nerdsmith Network. There's one more episode of Empire Records that will run next Wednesday. Then the halcyon days of weekly episodes will come to an end, and we'll run Pluto Nash every two weeks after that. But, hope to see you next week. Enjoy the rest of the episode. Bye! This is it. Make no mistake where you are. This is it. You're back to the corner. This is it. Don't be a fool anymore. It's over now. 10 a.m. Everyone's here. Everyone's going to open the store, I guess. I guess you're just going to work a long-ass day, everyone. Alex, tell me what's happening as you get to uh, Empire Records at 10 a.m. Boy, uh, Book book Downfall is there uh, unlocking the door. Dash is right on his heels, ready to go. I think Rose is probably going to get there right as the door opens, and Stu's going to roll in probably about ten minutes late. Uh, so books open the door, and he's like, "Yeah, you uh, you excited about your first day, or like uh, <laughs> it's like uh, I mean, work kind of sucks, right?" <laughs> uh, you got I'm I'm here to help the store, uh, with all the music, Both. Book, book is like, oh, I I, w- I wasn't uh I wasn't expecting that. Uh, okay, um. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a cool day. Nope, this is a bad. This is a bad voice for him. He's gonna be like, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a cool day. It's gonna be a cool. It's gonna be a <laughs> is cool, that a better voice? It's, is that Peter Griffin? <laughs> I don't like what happened. Is that a better voice? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know which one hurt more. <laughs> I love that. I love that. No, oh, they were both good voices. They were bad. They were bad voices. Just think of a cool guy voice, Ben. Just do a cool guy voice. Like a cool guy voice. Just be Michael Scott. Just do just a cool just do a, Michael Scott. Just do a cool guy voice. It's me, Book Downfall. I'm, I'm really hands off. Well, one thing you need to know. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Book is like, because uh, he's like, okay, uh, I got to give you a task now. So you're going to have a task. We gotta, we gotta get this place looking pretty spick and span for, uh, for Denise Leary. So uh, maybe you could just, uh, <laughs> uh, just mop, mop all the floors. Uh, make sure you put up wet, wet signs where, where they go. But if I know one thing about water, <laughs> it, it evaporates <laughs> pretty quickly. L- leave it to me, Both. I will, uh, I will handle this floor mopping like Luke handled the rancor on Tatooine. Got no idea what you're talking about, kid. I'm going to put my mop in its mouth. Okay, okay, again, haven't seen that movie. Don't know what you're talking about. You haven't seen Star Wars? I, boy, I don't, I didn't mean to open that can. If I tell you that I saw Star Wars, do I have to talk about it anymore? Ugh, it, it, it hurts my heart. I will watch Star Wars for you later. Thank you. I'm going to go get a mop now. Okay, so, 
you have to you have to say a game plan right now, Alex. Are you going to double down, which means you're going to put all your effort into doing this task? A hundred percent. Oh, okay. Doubling well, let me down. let me go the other ones. Oh. No. Okay. No, this is the one I'm doing. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> well, remember, you can work on your personal goal too, or you can try to heal a relationship. But you're gonna you're gonna do the task. Well, first. When I'm in the back room, I'm going to brandish the mop like a lightsaber, and I'm going to fight Darth Vader. So you get to roll two dice. Two dice. Because you've doubled down. Okay. I was, I was going to do that. Just do it. Uh, I got a one and a two. <laughs> That's not great. No. Dang it. Well, but it's possible you'll be okay. Uh, so you, you put the two forward, and there's only one trouble that's at three right now. So the man... <gasps> only has one die to roll against you. Uh, but the man did roll a four. <laughs> Uh-oh. You've failed. You've failed. <laughs> so I think I am in the back room, and I'm like, I've got the mop, and I'm brandishing it, and there's a big standee of Darth Vader. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I hit the bucket of mop water, and it just goes everywhere. I'm going to say even you knock, like, you hit the faucet that you were like filling it up with, and like Uh-oh. it like busts, and like it's spraying water out. It's not the worst thing. It's not just gushing, but like you can't get it to stop. Oh no! Oh no! Losing means that you draw a trouble card too, uh, which I will do. I, I got a heart, which is morale. Morale has <gasps> gone up to two. How does that look? Why is why does doing this make morale go down? <laughs> I mean, nobody wants to be wet at work. Nobody wants to be wet at work. <laughs> wet at works. Wet at workshop. No one wants that. <laughs> that wasn't even a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so good job, Alex. I mean, bad job, but you played the game good. Yeah. <laughs> so, Gen C. My name is Rose. Yeah, Rose, excuse me. All right, Rose, do you have a specific job here at uh, Empire Records, maybe? Or are you just a jack-of-all? Yeah, I'm a little bit of a jack-of-all rabbits, but really, I work the <laughs> counter. That's probably at least what you do when you first get there. What does that in- entail, maybe? Well, I have to, like, unlock the register, and I have to set the things on the counter. So Book comes to you, and Book is like, Sydney's Larry Day. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Very exciting. I I actually need you to not do this thing that you normally do. Okay. I need you to set up the little table, our little little staging area for our celebrity guest that'll be here soon. Oh, yeah. That's such a good idea. Thank you. You're so good at delegating. He's like taking it back. (laughs) He's like, thank thank you. Wait, do you think I'm cool? Yeah, you're so cool. You're the coolest boss. So, so I just get to decorate it however I want. You're you're like a, you're like a, a normal person, right? I think so. I don't know what is normal, really. Uh, not a good answer to that question. Not a good answer to that question. But uh, yeah, yeah. How you want? I'm sure you're you seem nice. So yeah, sure. Do you know how I've messed up? How? <laughs> Greatly. We weren't supposed to do this first. Oh no. So what we're going to... But I think we can still do it out of order. Um, so let, let's let Stu arrive, too. And what we're going to do... Stu. We're supposed to have an opening montage. Oh. And I messed up, and I didn't do that first. So, like, there's a song. There's a song being played. What's the song that's being played over this montage? It could be a fake song, remember. Kennedy's Dead by the Dropkick Durfies. Yeah, Kennedy's dead. Kennedy's dead. There's a there's a there's a song by Two Unlimited called "Get Ready for This." Are we doing that? I don't know what the song is actually. I don't think is I've it ever not heard. the it's not be, the jock jam? It's got to be Tom Sawyer. Tom, Tom Sawyer from Rush. See, I, I, as a facilitator, I'm actually supposed to be playing these songs, but like. I don't really have a way to do that, and we'll get we'll get copyright striked. I don't want to piss Rush off. Oh my god! Yeah, I know, right? It's the worst thing we could do. But then Getty Lee would notice me. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you has the has the uncomfortable? Does something look out of place to anyone? There's water all over the floor. There's water all over the floor. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's sort it's sort of no no no. It's not it's not too bad yet. It's sort of like just leaking out of that closet. It's not. Oh my god! There's water. Maybe you don't even notice it yet, because it's not a serious problem yet. But, like, 
I know what's out of place. What's that? The cat's missing. <gasps> the cat? Where's Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be allowed to name the cat? He just calls it that no matter what. He calls it that. <laughs> Everyone calls the cat a different name. Yeah. I call him Eddie. Better. Oh my god, Wisteria, where did it go? I don't know why you guys like that cat so much. The cat is the best part of the store. Is the cat cool? Yes. All right, I also am worried about the cat. But also I need you to set up the table. da 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 <laughs> does, that, does anyone like hate that that song is playing no that's like that's like my jam are all three of those songs playing at the same time that's my jam yeah yeah it's in the book is like you guys have to pick one you guys have to pick one i can't do this every day I, my voice it's making my voice change <laughs> <laughs> they got a voice change okay i'm i'm cool with whatever i like rush don't know who that is. <laughs> Why you own a record store? <laughs> Rose. Now we can go back to your scene. Now that now that we I, I hastily appended that into our game. Um, yes. So what's your game plan here? Uh, are you going to double down and do that task? Are you going to take a moment to heal a relationship? Or are you going to go for your goal? You know, I really feel... Oh, no. You know, I really feel like... Mm, I can really, like, use my own inner creativity to just make this staging so beautiful, and it's going to make everyone so happy. So I'm going to double down on it. Okay. Roll two dice and tell me the highest result. Well, it's a six. Well, very good. I only rolled a three, so you succeed. Um, whoop, whoop. Basically, there's something special that happens here. You just succeed. You've done this. You've done your task. Um, no trouble happens. <laughs> That's this whole game. You know, you don't, you wow. don't get anything for succeeding. You just stave off <laughs> disaster. Nice. Wow. Just like life. So what is, <laughs> what is your, what is your, uh, nice little, uh, table look like here? Yeah. So, uh, the table has like a really nice, lovely drapery on it. It's black. And, um, the, the chair behind it is really comfy. I, I found it in the back. It's got... It's a red armchair. And then I hand drew her name on it with really like colorful, like floral patterns and letters. It's really rainbow and cool. And there's a, a single rose on the table. Does that mean something? Yeah, it does. But are you, you're not going to tell me. Not yet. Stu. What's up? Hey. How are there three mouses on your shared screen? Three mouse pointers on a shared screen. I kind of forgot that that was open still, so we're going to turn that off. Coward. We, we can still see it. I'm working on it, Jensi. <laughs> <laughs> I was just letting you know. <laughs> I thought you were in character for a second. I thought you were like, how are there so many mice in this store? Oh, right. oh that's actually <laughs> it's funny. because the, the cat's, cat's gone. gone. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I stick with that then. Why are there so many mice here? There's a cool cat is missing. Oh, that's no good. It's no good. We love that cat, right? Probably. The cat whose name is... You asking me? <laughs> it's, your store, it's your store cat, dude. His name's Chewbacca. It's not Chewbacca. His name's Chewbacca. That was a test, too, and uh, I'm afraid you did not pass. Oh, a bummer. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any consequences for that. Oh, cool. You win some, you lose some. So you're, you're kind of a senior employee. Weirdly. And he's hands off. Are you a hard worker or not? I feel like I care about the store a lot. I care about this. I So yeah, I'd say weirdly, weirdly, I'm uncharacteristically like invested. I think that would look like you've kind of decided what you want to do at the store. That makes more sense than you but would But you tell would me. do a lot, I think. Sure. So what do you do when you come in? Normally, I think I would handle like uh, refreshing displays, uh, doing inventory, like, you know, seeing what, what stuff needs to be reordered. Okay. Um, and so you're just going to do that, okay, in this first scene. Okay. Scene. Uh, well, that's your task. Now, what do you that's actually want? What's your game plan? Do you want to double down? I want to find that cat. All right. You're going to go for your goal. So, go for the cat. So going going for the goal does work a little different. It's going to be hard to do your task, but you can still do it. So, like, while you're doing this, you're, like, looking for the cat. Now, what do you think the cat's name is? Well, I just call him Eddie. I call him Eddie Vetter. 
And he pet her. <laughs> yes. I can't believe you all picked cat. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I do love that. Our goals are aligned. So how do you find a cat? Does this cat go missing a lot? I would say no. This doesn't have any place to go. So this is sus. This is why I want to put my attention on this. Yeah. So you're like juggling your goal and your task. Do you, do you even know how to how to like hunt for a cat? I would assume Stuart's never, yeah, this is the only cat Stuart knows. <laughs> the only cat Stuart knows. He's just gonna like, yeah, look behind records. <laughs> <laughs> and like rattle things. Hey, you ready? Eddie? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. So you're still gonna roll two dice, but you're gonna roll one die for the goal and one die for the task. This is the goal. Oh no, it's a two. I'm very bad at finding cats. Oh no. Okay. But failing a goal isn't so bad. You did fail, by the way, because I rolled a three. Um, <laughs> so you get to check one of the two boxes. I'm determined or I have a plan. Well, he does not have a plan, so de definitely he's But determined. you're going to find that cat. I'm going to find this so cat. So check I'm determined, and later, if you try your goal again, you get to roll with an extra die. Oh, God damn it! All I can roll is twos, apparently. Well, I also rolled a three again. <laughs> so I, I failed at both things. You did fail at both things, but it's a lot worse to fail at a task than it is to fail at a goal. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> it has consequences. Yeah, you kind of get something good for the goal. You get something bad for failing the task. So you try to find this cat, and it doesn't go great, man. Yeah, I'm making a mess of the story. And, like, yeah, yeah. So the, the story does not look nice and neat, which, like... The store's kind of cool. It's like kind of the only thing it has going for it. And I'm going to draw another card because you failed. And it was a spade, which is the boss. So the boss is angry. Yeah, the boss is usually hands off, but like he's getting all hands on. He's like, what What are you doing, man? Well, there's water all over his floors. Records are getting wet. Look, you put records all over the ground. Some of them are backwards in the thing. What are you looking for something? Yeah, I'm going to find that cat. <laughs> I don't care about the cat, man. We care about the cat. I don't care about anything. Be a cool boss. I am a, I'm a cool boss. I'm a cool boss. So uh, he's starting to get more anxious. <laughs> All right. That's act one. Oh. We, we did made it. it through a whole act. I just want to use your love to lie. I don't want to lose your love to lie. Just wanna use your love to lie. Yeah. I don't wanna lose your love. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? It is ironic, <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> I really, I really do think. A little too ironic. <laughs> you ought to know. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized my thing wasn't an Alanis Morissette thing, was it? <laughs> no, it is. It is. You it is. ought to know. No, yeah. but I. The, the, that was me. The, does she make you happy? Does? Oh no! Who no, is no, that? No, no that is happy. Alanis Morissette. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> I'm not a nerd. <laughs> anyway, silence. Crickets. <laughs> it's better than what I usually get. Uh, 